today I'm going to show you a very simple and powerful tutorial on how to start trading on BitGet. Now guys, I've been using BitGet over the last year. Personally, I love them very much. They got many new tokens launching all of the time. They also have incredible volume, which is always a good thing as a trader. So you can get in and out of trades pretty easily, as well as their user face, guys. I love trading with the user face. It's understanding, it's very easy to use, and it's completely simple. So today, in order to start trading on this platform, the first thing you need to do is you need to open up an exchange now guys if you have a look below in the description i do have a partnership with these guys and i'm able to get you good deals with my link only so by clicking on this link and using this link it will give you discounts on trading fees as well as sign up bonuses and this will change every few weeks there will always be good specials on this link as well as if you use this link we have this vip discord in crypto banter where we give you guys charts we give you uh, fundamentals and we give you actual trades every single single day and by using this link you're able to get into that VIP group. So the first thing you need to do is you need to open up an account. So you want to click on this link below. Once you clicked on it, it will take you to a page to open up your BitGet account. You need to put in a simple email and a very good password. Now that you've created your actual profile, now you'll log in and you'll see you'll come to this dashboard over here. So guys, there's a few things you need to do to get going and to get started on this platform. The first thing you need to do is you need to beef up your security. Right now, people can get in with a login and a password, you want to make sure that there's a second line of protection. So in order to do that, you wanna to go to this icon over here. It will give you your details and go below that to security. Once you click on that, it's gonna take you to the security section over here. And now what you wanna do is you wanna add something called two-factor authentication. What that basically means is a second line of security. Now you've got three ways to do this. You can either use your phone number, you can use your email, or you can use my favorite, the Google Authentication app. Now what the Google Authentication is, it's an app you download on your phone. And then what you can do is you can scan a QR code, which you will get once you say enable here. It will give you a QR code. Now by scanning that, it's gonna bring up a six digit password uh, that changes all the time. Every 30 seconds, a new one come. And what that basically asks you for is when you log into your account with your email and your password, it asks you for that six digit number, which changes all the time. So it's hard for someone to know what that number is. And then you'll be able to log into your account. Now you guys have to understand something that this authentication app is literally, it doesn't have a, a username or a password. It just takes the barcodes. So what that means is if you lose your device, you need to be able to get your new device and to scan that barcode to get that code back. So that barcode, please print, uh, take a screenshot and just keep it in a very protective place. So if you ever need to access that code again on another device, you're able to do so. Now that you've done that guys, remember either of these are good. If you use a phone number or email, all that it basically does is when you log in, it will send you an account to one of these, uh, send you a code, and then you're able to put that code in to get in. Now that you've done your second line of security, you can go below and look if you want to add anything else there is something called withdrawal whitelist which means if you ever want to take money out of uh, your exchange you know you can whitelist the actual uh, addresses that you want to go to and if it's if it's not whitelisted the money can't be sent there so it's a nice way to also to protect where your money can go if someone wants to withdraw it and there's a few other options over here which you can go through then the next thing you want to do now is you want to get your KYC you need to do KYC on this exchange which means know your customer so they want your uh, identity verification and this is where you'll do it. So you'll see over here, I'm currently on level one and that will basically be your email, your proof of address. Uh, you mainly have to get to level one uh, to not have any problems to withdraw any capital from the actual exchange. So you can go below and you can just see all the different things that you need uh, in order to verify your account. Now that you have security and you've done your KYC, now let's actually go through the platform. So the next thing I wanna show you guys is how to bring money in and out of the exchange. And you have a few ways to do this. If you want to pay by a banking system, you will go to this section over here, which is buy crypto. And you can see there's a credit and debit card section over there. There's also something else if you wanna go study on it, which is P2P trading, buying and selling from someone else. Um, but you can go do your research on that. And then what you have is bringing crypto in and out out of the exchange. So if you click this button over here, which is your assets but button, it will then take you to your main assets dashboard. And this will show you everything. It will show you all the money that's inside this exchange. So the first thing I wanna show you here is
is deposit and withdrawal. So deposit is when you want to put money inside of the exchange. And if you're doing this with crypto, you need to be withdrawing the crypto from somewhere else. So now you will click this button over here and you will say crypto. Once you've done that, it will then ask you what token would you like to bring into the account? I'm gonna use USDT as an example. Then it's gonna ask you which chain would you like to use? The two that I like to use, the first one is Ethereum, the ERC20, which is the Ethereum chain. And then you have Tron, TRX, which is TRC20. I personally use TRC20 a lot more as it's quicker and cheaper, but you can decide which one you want to use. Now that you, you have chosen which one you want, it will then give you an address. And what you wanna do here, guys, is just want to copy the address and then you will paste it in the withdrawal section from wherever you're withdrawing the capital from. Please make sure that the coin is correct and make sure that the network is correct too. You don't want any money getting stuck on the blockchain. And a nice little tip as well is when you paste this the other side, just remember the first three digits and the last three digits and just double check that everything is correct. And then you can deposit the funds into the exchange. Once you have deposited the funds, you'll go back to your asset section and you'll see the money has then arrived over here on the top and it will show you which account it is in. Now the next thing is how to withdraw capital. So if you go back to the assets column over here, you got this button over here with withdraw and I wanna withdraw crypto. So again, what token would you like to withdraw? What chain would you like to withdraw from? And what is the address? So you will then take the deposit address from another exchange and you'll paste it over here. Again, make sure the coin and the, the, the chain is correct. And then once you've done that, you can click next and the transfer will then go through. Now that you know how to bring money in and out of the exchange, let's explain the wallets inside of the exchange. And I'm gonna show you guys two of these wallets. The first one is a spot wallet. The second one is a futures, which is a derivatives leverage wallets as well now guys they have separate wallets inside the exchange because they have different amounts of risks with what type of trading you're actually doing so what's nice about this is whatever happens in this wallet does not affect that one and whatever happens there does not affect that one which is important now as you're stepping into the space it's very important to have a little bit of risk management to understand that a portion of your portfolio is a long-term part it's something where you buy you hold you don't trade too much as every time you're trading you're actually putting your capital at risk so i like to use spot for this something where i can buy on a high time frame chart I can buy and I can leave it for at least a month or two and then take profits and then look to buy back, you know, to trade maybe two, three, four times an actual year. So I use spot for the bigger part of my portfolio. An example of this is if I have a thousand dollars, I probably have around 800 to 900 in spot and a thousand will be in the leverage account. So let me show you how to actually move funds. You can see currently over here, you can see that I have a hundred dollars or $97 sitting in spot. And then what I can do is I can transfer this capital. So if I go to the top right, right hand side over here and I click transfer, I can move money around in between. So if I wanna send money from a spot to my futures, to my leverage account, I can do so. I can just click the coin, I can click the amount and I can send it and it will go through there. And if I wanna do the opposite where I wanna send money from futures back to spot, uh, I can do the same thing, set the amount and then confirm it. And that's just gonna transfer money in and out of your different wallets inside of the exchange. Now that you understand transferring funds in between the wallets, let's quickly show you guys a few things so if you go to the top over here you go to this market section this will show you all the tokens that's inside of the platform guys so if you click on this over here you can then click on the market section here and once you do so it will show you all the different tokens now that you know the market section on top you have the spot and future section so if you click on spot these are all the tokens that are traded to USDT. Now remember USDT is basically the crypto dollar, right? It's one of the crypto dollars and it's one of the best pairing and highest volume stable coins out there. So what that means is if you have the dollar and you have Bitcoin, when you think Bitcoin is going to go up, you want to sell your dollars and buy Bitcoin. When you think Bitcoin is going to go down, you then want to get out of Bitcoin back into your dollars. So it's going between a volatile token to a stable coin and basically mixing in between the two. So now that you can see that these are all the different tokens over here then what you're able to do is go to the futures tokens as well and what's nice about it if you go back to spot over here it also gives you all the ecosystem tokens so if you're buying a coin like solana you can also go look at all the different solana projects that are on the chain uh, and this is where you'll find all those different tokens you can also see here the 24-hour change the market cap and always make sure guys that the volume is high 
The volume is very important because you want to be able to buy and sell uh, pretty easily and be able to get out of the market when you want to get out. So make sure the volume is also really good. And as you can see here, volume is really good on this exchange. Now, let me show you guys the spot trading platform. So what do you want to do is you want to go to this trade section over here and you want to click on spot once you've done that it will now take you to the trading den of where you're going to start buying and selling your actual crypto so the first thing you got to understand is the top left is where you'll select your token whichever token you want to trade then what you'll see is the price on the right of it then if you go below it you will actually find your charts you will find the chart and you'll see the coin busy being volatile as we can see right now. Um, and what you can also do is you can select the different time frames over here. So I can go to a four hour chart. I'll give you guys a little hint. So if you're looking at the, the one hour chart, it means you want to know what's gonna happen for the next day from this token. Not next, next week, not next month, What's gonna happen for the next day? If you go to the four hour chart, you know, what's gonna happen next, next three days? And then as you start going up, you know, it's basically looking at different data within that token. So if you go somewhere as in the, the daily, you wanna know what's gonna happen for the next week. So you don't need to confuse yourself by using all the time frames. You can select which one in order to understand, you know, how often can you trade? If you're working every day, you know, trade something like a four or eight hour because you don't have much time to stare at the charts. And it takes a little bit of time for the trades to play out with that specific time frame then what you see on the left over here this is your tools so if you want to chart the token you want to come in here and say okay i want to see i want to buy this token there's a trend line i want to buy over here you can use all these tools to help you another tool that will help you guys a lot is this long position and short position tool so if you want to buy the market you want to go long you know you need to always understand two things where are you going to protect yourself where are you going to protect your risk and where are you going to take profits and always make sure that your green is a lot bigger than your red. Remember, it's all about risk to reward in this game. If you lose three trades in a row, as long as you're losing 3% or 4% per trade, that's fine. And then when you finally get your winning amount, you know, now all of a sudden you're making 10, 15% on one win. So if you lose three trades in a row, one trade you won, you're in the money. And that's what it's about. So in order to do that, make sure that your risk to reward ratio is always at least above three to five. Five is better. And that just means that your reward is a lot bigger than your risk. And now it's worth taking the actual trade. So now that you have that, if you go to the right side, this is your order book. So you'll see the price of the token. You'll see all the people that are selling. These are all the people selling right now. These are all the people buying. And remember, it's very simple. If there's more people selling than buying, price will go down. If there's more people buying than selling, price will go up. It's all about demand, right? People are all fighting for the same tokens. So now you can see all of the orders going through. Then on the right hand side over here, this is where you can actually start your trading. So if you've put your money in spot, you will see there is your available amount over there. And you can see I have $97 currently sitting over there. Now there's two ways to buy and sell pretty easily. The first one is a limit order. And what that means is you will say, I want to buy Bitcoin at $35,000. It's only 40,000 right now. So I wanna buy it at 35,000. I think it's gonna go down there. So what you need to do in order to do that is you can put an order in the order book that sits there. And if there's someone else on the other side that's willing to sell it at that price, and when this usually happens is when price gets near it, it starts coming down to that area, you know, this transaction can go through without you looking at your computer. So this is a great way to buy and sell. You don't have the choice of the time but you do have the price. And if it gets there and there's a transaction that can be made, it will happen without you looking. So the way I usually do this is if I want to buy a limit now with Bitcoin and I wanna do 35,000 as my target or as my area of where I wanna buy, I can type this in over here. Then what I can choose is the amount of my money that I want to buy and I can click the buy section. Once I've done that, it's gonna ask me the confirmation, is all the details correct? And I click on that. And then what you'll see below guys is an open order. So it hasn't bought your Bitcoin yet, but it's sitting in the book. And if there's someone on the other side that will sell, and like I said, usually when price gets closer to that price range is when your order can fill, you know, then it will go through and it will transact. It will use your dollars, it will buy the Bitcoin, and you'll then have Bitcoin. That's the first way. The second way is, if you want to market execute. Now market execute basically means it's the quickest way to get in and out of the markets. You just don't have the uh, exact amount that you want. And what I mean by that is, if you wanna buy $50 of Bitcoin right now, you can use this button and you can say, okay, I wanna buy 50% of my capital right now. It will go to the nearest people that are selling and it will sell as much as it needs to from these people in order to fill. 
So you might buy from two, three people, which maybe will make your fees a little bit higher. This is why I'm saying use the link below as your fees uh, will add up over the, the, the months to the years and you want to save on that. Um, but it will buy that and you won't get the exact price that you want. But as long as you have a very high volume token uh, and a lot of uh, volume on the platform, it will be very close to the, the market price over here. But let me show you guys. So if I want to click this over here, I can now say confirm. I want to buy right now. And boom, all of a sudden I bought and you can see I now have $47 worth of Bitcoin at the moment. So now my transactions are already gone through. And it's the same when it comes to selling, guys. So now it's on the sell side, right? And you can see I have my Bitcoin. So if I want to sell now, I can say, okay, I think Bitcoin's going to go to $50,000. I bought it over here. I want to sell 100% of my Bitcoin if it gets there. And now I can click the sell button. And again, doesn't mean I've sold my Bitcoin but it will put an order there for me. And if price gets near that and there's someone else to transact, it will go through for you. So it's a really nice way that if you've bought a token and you think it's gonna go here, you can put this in and then you can sit back and wait for it to go through um, if it goes through or you can just cancel it later on, which is on the, uh, the bottom right corner of the position or of the actual order um, and you can cancel it and your money will go back and you can change your mind okay the next thing again is if i want to market execute now i got my bitcoin things are dropping it's not looking good i want to get out right now i click this button i confirm and boom transaction has been done i now don't have much bitcoin now my dollars is sitting back over here in this area here now the next thing that's very important is when you're buying you always want to protect and you want to put a take profit in as well and what that means is again if price goes down it can invalidate what you're thinking you know you thought it was going to go up now it didn't go up so you want to protect yourself it will sell you out and protect and make sure that you lose a very uh, small amount and the way you do that guys is this button over here which is called the oco now our oco means one order cancels the other so now that you've bought your bitcoin let's actually buy bitcoin quickly so we have some so I can show you this. Now that we have Bitcoin, right? Now I got Bitcoin. Now what I wanna do is I wanna protect it and I wanna put a take profit in. So one order cancels the other means it'll put a stop loss and it'll put a take profit and whichever order it hits first, it will cancel the other, which means the transaction's already gone through. So it's a nice way to protect your capital and to make sure you have a take profit in. So if you're sleeping and either one goes through, you protect it firstly or you're banking profits. So the way you do this is the, the top one here is limit. This is your take profit, guys. So the limit on top here is your take profit. So now that I have my Bitcoin here, I think we're gonna go to $50,000. Then what you have is your trigger price, which is now your stop loss. Now guys, this takes two different amounts to put in here. And what I mean by that is you need to make a range. Sometimes if you put a stop loss and price moves too quick, it can go through. There was no one to transact at that price. It can go through it and it can miss your stop loss and you never want that. So what they do is they allow you to create a range that anywhere in this range, make sure that it gets me out, you know, to protect your capital. So for example, I don't want Bitcoin to go below 43,000. As we're sitting at 43,200, it must go up here. And then I also know, okay, but what happens if it just shoots through 43,000? Get me out. So what it means, I got to create a range. And I usually use around a percent uh, of the token as the range amount. So for example, this would then be 42,000 500 and what that basically means is if it doesn't get me out at 43 it'll get me out anywhere between that guys high volume tokens high volume exchanges you don't usually have a problem um it will probably sell you out very close over here but this is here just in case to make sure that you really get out now that you have that you can click 100 percent, and now what you can do is sell your bitcoin and now it's going to ask you all the different details you can then confirm the amount and now you can click it in and what's nice about this guys is you can see how they've put your, your stop loss over here. And let's see on the top side over here too, that they've put your stop loss on top on the actual chart, which is really nice. It's nice to have this stuff on the actual chart. There we go. So if you look, you'll see your stop loss and you will see your take profit on the chart, as well as the order sitting at the bottom over here. Now you're protected and you can take profits if you're not watching at any single moment. And just the last few things, if you go below, remember, this is where you can also transfer funds in and out. And it's nice that it shows you the amount of a Bitcoin you have and the amount of USDT, USDT that you have as well um, in the specific account. Now it's time to jump to the next one. And this one is called futures trading. And the one I'm gonna show you is USDT futures. 
Why Asher USDT? Because it's got the most volume, the most amount of tokens, and for me, the most trustworthy. So this is slightly different. Now, this is a higher risk version of trading, but I want you to be afraid of it. I want you to dip your toes and see if it will help you at any point in your life. Why am I saying that? Guys, I was a carpenter three years ago, um, and uh, I never had a lot of money. I had a couple hundred dollars as I just got scammed uh, in crypto. So I never had much and I never had a job either. So I started with leverage and I started borrowing some money from the exchange, which you can do. It sounds amazing, especially when you win. But when you lose, you know, it can wipe your entire account. But let me explain. What I used it for was for little things. So if I had a thousand dollar account and that's all the money that I got, you know, I would put $50 in. And what I'm able to do is I'm able to borrow money from the exchange. And with that, if the money goes up, so for example, if I got $50, I can do a 10x trade. And that means I'm actually playing with $500, but I only have $50, okay? So if it goes up, I make money on the $500. Problem is, if it goes down, I lose. And if I lose to a point that my $50 is done, then it liquidates my entire account and I don't get any of that money back. So it's a very powerful tool to use for small things, for groceries in your life, to buy shoes, to buy all these different things. The moment I started using it for little things, it started becoming incredibly powerful and it started helping me build my long-term. So remember, this will not create long-term wealth, but it can be a very powerful tool if you don't have much money, you know, to make some cash and send it to your spot and buy long-term and buy long-term um, and uh, and that's it. So risk management, super important. So let me show you this. Top left again, you have your token and you can choo choose any token that you want. Below is your chart and your time frames. Then you have a look over here, the price and the order book. Then you look on the right side, you can open or close a trade. So the difference now with spot. Spot, you can either buy or sell a token, right? What this is, this is different. You basically predicting is the market going up? Is the token going up or is the token going down? You can actually make money if the market comes down and you've predicted it. And what that means is you can long or short. Long means up, so you can see over here, you're bullish. Short means bearish, you think the market's gonna come down. And all that you have to do is you have to open or close a position. Open or close a long. That's what it means here. Now, just above it, guys, this one's very, very, very important. Make sure that the isolated one is selected. I don't wanna speak too much on this, but what it basically means is if it's on cross, if you have any money inside of this over here and you decide to open a trade, what it does is it can also take that money that's sitting in over here. So if you got $100 and you buy $50, it can also, if that trade starts going in a loss, it can start taking that money. And that's terrible. So it can really start to wipe everything. Plus, if you take 10 trades and eight of them are good and two are really bad and they go really, really, really bad, they can actually liquidate all your other positions. Okay, so it's really terrible. But... You know, there is the upside and they obviously speak about the upside that when profits are coming in, you can use those profits to make it bigger. Guys, it's just not worth it. Okay, it's not worth compounding and losing everything because of one rotten apple. So by going isolated, it means exactly that. It isolates the trade. So if you got $100 and you put $20 into this trade, whatever happens to that $20 will not affect the rest of the money. Plus, if you have multiple trades, whatever happens with one, it won't hurt the other. And that's the best way. So click on here and go to isolated and confirm. And now you'll see that. Then what you'll see on the right of that, this is the gauge of how much leverage you wanna take. So if you wanna have 10 times your money, you can. Now guys, it does go high, but this is the trap. I'm gonna be very honest. Um, anywhere above 10X, you're basically becoming a gambler. Um, so if I'm brand new to this, I would start with two to three X, which means two to three times your money. And then as I get better, five X, and the most that even I do today after three years of leverage trading, I do a 10 X. Okay, so just make sure that you don't over go over that. If you're inexperienced and you're anywhere here, you're gambling, right? So it's very important to understand that. So I'm gonna use the example of a five X, okay? Which basically means I can trade with five times more capital than what I actually got. Then it's the same thing, guys. You got something here, which is a limit and a market to get in and out. So for example, I'm gonna go long right now, okay? So I wanna go, let's quickly transfer some funds. So let's click the transfer button over here. And let's say I wanna send my $50 over here. Now my $50 is here and you can see it at the bottom over here. Then what you wanna do is you wanna say, okay, I wanna get into this right now and I wanna buy 100% of that $50. Now, 
What's also important is the moment I buy, I need to know where I'm protecting myself and where am I putting a take profit. Because of leverage, you can get liquidated. You must always have a stop loss. Very important. Now what I can do is just below, I can click this TP and SL button, which means take profit and stop loss. So if I'm buying Bitcoin right now, my take profit will be 44,000 and my stop loss would be 43,000. There's 43,000 over there. Now what it means is the moment I go long, now that I have my take profit and my stop loss in, I can now go through with the trade. Once I click buy long, it will give me all my details. Once I'm happy, you see this guys, liquidation price. That's if you don't have a stop loss and it goes to that price, it will take the capital. But let's click on the confirm and now the beauty starts, right? So here we go. If you have a look here, Bitcoin isolated long 5X. Now this is where it gets interesting. If you look over here, it says my position size is $216. Now guys, I only had $50, I never had $216, right? Why, why is that? Is because if you have a look just over here to the right, I actually only put in $43, but 43 times five gives me $215. So I'm playing with more money than what I got. Then on the right side of it, it shows you my entry price and then the market price. So where I bought and where the market is currently shows me my liquidation price. Make sure you always have a stop loss so that they don't take the capital. Then over here, margin, that's your amount of money. And then if you also have a look on the left here, it shows you your unrealized and your return on investments. It shows me the amount of money you are up or down and the percentage you are up or down on your actual capital. Now guys, if you have a look below over here, you're also able to adjust your stop loss and your take profits in this section over here. So all of these, flash close means close straight away, things like that, uh, reversal, these are more advanced things you don't need to know right now. Um, but if you go over here, you can click on the position stop loss and what it will do for you is it'll give you the details and it will say, okay, you wanna adjust your take profit or adjust your stop loss, this is where you can do it. It will also tell you how much money you will make or lose wherever you put it. So it's a really nice tool to calculate, you know, is it worth me taking the actual trade? So this position over here, always make sure you've got a protection and you've got to take profit in. Guys, by the way, I run a very big TA school called Sniper School that will teach you how, where to buy, where to sell and how to actually do these things. So if you want education, please do not shortcut yourself. The school is free, go below. You can actually use this BitGet link to get inside of school and make sure that you have at least put some education. It's your money, you're the boss now. So getting back to this position over here, if you also guys, you open any orders or you want to see your transaction history where you bought and sold previously, everything is here for you guys to go through, to go see all your previous trades, how did you do, things like that. But let me actually show you guys how to also short. So I'm going to click this button over here, close all positions, close everything immediately, right? And there you go. It even shows me over here that it's closed. It. Let me show you how to short. So if I want to short now, I can say, okay, I want to short with $50. On a 5X, always double check. So go to the top here, make sure that your short is on 5X. It will always have like a default setting. So always be careful when you change tokens that it, it, it is correct. Then what you wanna do, 100%, let's put a stop loss and a take profits. So remember, what you're doing now is you're saying, I believe price is gonna go down. So if so, where do you think it's gonna go down to? So for example, $40,000. So now my take profit will be under the current price because I'm predicting it's gonna go down. And then if it decides to go up, where must it take me out? Okay, so if I look over here, remember what I showed you earlier in the video where the, the position tool, now you can use the short one, you can say, okay, I wanna put a stop loss over there and it says 2.7%. This is times your five, by the way, because remember you're playing with more money, okay? And then I wanna make sure that this is my take profit and my risk to reward is really good. So you can see the red number there and the green number over there. That would be my, my take profit and stop loss. So the, the stop loss would be this area of 44,200. 44,200. And my take profit will be this area of 38,500. 38,000. 500. Now what I can do is I can go short. And I click that, it will go short for me, it will open up the whole amount over there, show me the amount of money that I'm at, show me the liquidation price. So obviously it's up now because you're predicting the other way. And here's all your details over here. And remember, if you want to close your positions, you can close over there.
So guys, now I've shown you the whole platform. There's a few basic things. Know how to take money in and out of the exchange. Know how to mon move money around. Know your risk management between the two different types of spot and leverage uh, and use those two tools to your uh, advantage. Spot I use for longer term. The only risk that I have on spot is um, wherever I'm buying the token and whatever the token price does. And then you obviously got the leverage side where you're playing with a little bit more money. So you do have things like liquidation prices. So these will be a lot less amounts of your capital, but they can be incredibly powerful tools. Now guys, if you enjoyed this content, hit the like, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter, Sheldon underscore Sniper, join Sniper School, and remember, if you wanna open an account, use the link below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.